Hi everyone, my name is John. I'm a developer advocate here working on Phoenix, and I'm going to walk you through a new release that we have here uh, that will help you evaluate function calling in your LLM pipelines. Uh, so, as everyone on the listening is probably aware, a lot of models nowadays will allow you to provide in some function signatures of different functions or tools within your system, uh, and then that model will be able to potentially generate uh, calls to those functions to retrieve some sort of result. Um, so, this is a very useful, powerful kind of tool. However, uh, we've seen that this is a very tricky thing for people to evaluate because there's multiple steps that need to happen uh, and need to go right for this to actually function correctly. So the model needs to first figure out if it should actually call a function based on the use, user's question, then needs to pull out different parameters to uh, include those in the function call itself, then generate the actual function call, and then take the response, construct a response from there. Uh, so we've provided an off-the-shelf evaluator that can be used to evaluate this process and help you hone in on different areas to uh, concentrate your efforts to improve your model. Um, so in the example that we're going to walk through here, I have pulled together a quick agent that will just go through and answer user questions using those tools. We're using GPT-40 in this case. Um, and so in this case, user questions, and then it can make a decision to call a set of different functions. In this case, it's using a product search function, has a few others that it can, that it can call from. And so we're going to actually go through and evaluate uh, whether or not this was the correct, right, the correct decision to make by our agent. So if I jump over to our notebook, and we'll provide the full notebook here that actually goes through and uh, generates some of this usage data and then actually defines the agent. If you want to go through, you can run this end-to-end -end yourself on the notebook. I'm going to skip ahead to the evaluation step here where we're going to go through, we're going to do some imports, and then uh, we're going to pull out uh, all of the different traces from uh, our instance to evaluate. Um, so you can see this is us pulling out the question, the response, and then the, whether or not a tool call was used in this case. Um, this data set here is going to be the data set we use to um, pipe through our evaluator. So anyone who listened to the experiments walkthrough that we had yesterday, this is kind of one evaluation done outside of an experiment, could be incorporated into a broader experiment as well. Now, the other thing that we have to do with this evaluator is we need to provide the actual function signatures. So bunch of different ways that you can do this. What we found uh, is that you should try to match to whatever model you're using as the evaluation model. So in this case, we're using OpenAI. Uh, and so we're actually matching the format that they outline in their function calling here to do this kind of JSON object. Um, pro tip, ChatGPT or other models are really good at actually just structuring this for you if you want to just put paste in your, your function code. Uh, so we've got our function code there that we've defined. We're going to use an eval model here. We're going to use GPT-40. I think in practice, it can be better to use other models from different companies so that you don't have a model evaluating the outputs of that same model in just a different instance. Um, but in this case, we'll stick with GPT-40 just to keep it simple. And then this is where we're making the call to our, uh, to our evaluator. So we're going to use the LLM classify method provided by Phoenix here. Uh, and then we're going to use this new tool calling prompt that we have, we have a template that we've built that we've just provided which will check for all of those different vectors that we mentioned of um, selecting whether or not to call a function, extracting the parameters, and then generating the function. Uh, one thing that's unique to this one is that we're going to pass in the tools here, uh, like the definitions of our, our functions or our tools, um, because in this case, we want to make sure that um, our, our evaluator has that extra context. So that's our JSON from before. And so then I'll evaluate that through. We're going to do some nice parallelization to make that run very quickly over our examples. And you'll see the result we get is a data frame where we have our correct and incorrect labels that we've used here. Um, and then we've got some explanation, which can be really helpful to dive a little bit further. And then final step here, I'm just going to pipe these back into our Phoenix instance. And so if I jump back over here, you'll see that uh, we now have our tool calling eval. See, a lot of them are getting incorrect in one of those different steps here. So if I jump into our spans, we can go and we can see our now our evaluation here. So we'll take a look at one of these. Um, and we can see he's looking for information on energy efficient appliances, uh, and then they're doing a product search there. So let's see what our evaluator said here is that ask for and use a product search tool. Um, however, tool does that doesn't address the discount request. So in this case, uh, they are saying they're interested in current discounts. So we missed that piece in our evaluation. So these kind of multi query um, or multi um, vector queries that you might have to come through are always going to be tricky for these function calling agents. So that gives us an indication that that's an area that we might need to improve. So from here, you could take all of these examples, you could pull them out, uh, either your, your incorrect examples to kind of dive in further and do some extra training. You could pull out your correct examples if you wanted to build a data set that you could then pull from for some few shot um, prompting 
to improve your model here, just to show you, we could easily kind of pull out our tool calling eval, say we'll do our incorrect ones. You can see we can take all of our incorrect ones here, add them to a data set that we could then export or we could use for any other kinds of training or retesting from there. So we can kind of build on this evaluator that we have here. Uh, hopefully this gave you a kind of quick rundown of the new evaluator that we have built into the platform that matches with some of the other evaluators we have for hallucinations, for um, relevancy, for uh, question and answer uh, ability. So a bunch of other evals that we have within the platform. Uh, if you're looking for even more detail, we have a, a, another video that we'll link in the description below that goes into how you can use custom evals for even more kind of customization here. Uh, so check that out if you want to go even one step further than what we looked at here. Uh, and in the meantime, happy hacking.